This video is going to uh, go over all the different ways to select text in Microsoft Word. We'll be using Word 2010, although these methods have worked in Word since before 2000 and continue to work in all versions of Microsoft Word. People are usually taught initially to select text by placing their mouse at the beginning of the first word that they want to select, clicking and holding and dragging across through the end of the last word. For example, if we want to select the uh, Community School District School Supplies First Day Fund, we're going to put our mouse at the beginning of it, click and hold. Oops, looks like I was too close to the, the beginning of it. Click and hold and slowly move our mouse across the words. Now, this can lead to problems because sometimes people tend to pull their mouse down or up. In other words, they have trouble dragging across it completely straight. Just remember that if you do accidentally pull down or up, don't let go of the mouse button. Simply roll it back to where you want it to be. That method of text selecting text is going to work, but it is not always the most uh, the fastest way or most efficient way to select text. Microsoft Word uses something called Whole Word Select. Rather than taking the time to line my mouse up at the beginning of the word, I can place my mouse anywhere in the middle of the word, click and hold, and as I drag across, you can see it automatically went back and selected the beginning of the word. If you think about it, odds are you're never going to select part of a word. There are times you do, but most of the time you want the entire word. This will save you a considerable amount of time. Simply place your mouse in the middle of the word, click and hold, and start to drag across, and you can see how it went back and picked up the beginning of that word. Often when we select text, we only need to select one word. For example, here's the word notebooks. If I simply point at that word and double click, it will select that word. If I triple click, one, two, three, it will select the entire paragraph. If you're having trouble with a double or a triple click, you're probably trying to actually do it too fast. Remember that the, the key is that the mouse cannot move up, down, left, or right in between the two clicks, but the clicks could actually be rather slow. Click, click, and that's a double click. Click, click, click is a triple click. Um, sometimes when people try to hit the mouse too fast, their mouse ends up jumping around and the computer then does not re read it as a double click or a triple click, but rather as multiple single clicks. So again, a double click will select the word and a triple click will select the paragraph. Notice that this is where what happens when my mouse is over the text. If instead I take my mouse out into the left margin, you'll immediately see that the mouse changes into an arrow pointing up and to the right. From the left margin, a single click will select the line of text I'm pointing at, a double click will select the paragraph of text I'm pointing at, and a triple click will select all of the text of the document, whether it's one page or a thousand pages. Again, from the left margin, a single click is a line, double is a paragraph, triple is all of it. From over the text, a single unselects, double is a word, triple is a paragraph, you also have the ability to select text with your keyboard. There's a couple of things that are you need to know about that. You place your mouse at the beginning of the text and remember all the cursor movement keys you hopefully learned earlier where you can use for example your right arrow and it moves your cursor to the right. Well if instead of just using the right arrow I hold down shift with my other hand and then right arrow I'm going to see that I'm selecting if I keep that shift held down and I use control right arrow, see how I'm selecting by words? Or if I keep that, again, I'm keeping the shift held down. If I hit the down arrow or the up arrow, I'm selecting text. So in the same way that control home takes me to the beginning of the document, shift control home selects from where I was to the beginning of the document. Control end takes me to the end of the document, so shift control end selects from where I was to the end of the document. The other thing that you, keyboard shortcut that you would want to know about selecting text for the keyboard is control A is select all. That is the same as coming out in the left margin and triple clicking to select all of the text, but sometimes it's faster to do it with the keyboard by just holding down control and pressing the letter A.